Hi, welcome to ePython Lab. Today I bring a new topic, introduction to probability distribution for machine learning. What is probability? Probability is an event refers to the likelihood that the event will occur. In mathematics, the probability that an event will occur is expressed as a number between zero and one. Nationally, the probability of an event A is represented the probability of A. If the probability of A equals zero, an event will not uh, definitely occur. There is no chance that the probability of A is uh, occur because that the probability of A is uh, equal zero. Because in mathematics, we uh, expressed the probability as a number between zero and one. So if that probability is uh, zero, that the, there is no chance that the event is occur. So uh, our target is to uh, uh, learn uh, probability for uh, machine learning. So is, uh, is, uh, is probability used in machine learning? Absolutely, yes. Probability is the bedrock of machine learning because every algorithms are designed using probability. For example, NiBias. NiBias is designed using the probability. So uh, any uh, classification algorithm in uh, ML or machine learning is designed using the probability. So uh, learning algorithms will make uh, decisions based on the probability. So for example, information guide. So gaining information is based on the probability of the uh, decision that the machine learning algorithm may, uh, made. So machine learning algorithms will make decisions based on the probabilities. And also uh, uh, probability is a subfield of study are built on probability. For example, Bayesian networks. Bayesian networks are built on the probability. So these are uh, based on these uh, uh, definitions, probability is absolutely uh, the uh, used in machine learning. So without probability, we cannot build we cannot uh, uh, make any decision using machine learning algorithms. So that's why we need to learn probability to, uh, to build our uh, machine learning models, to build a pipelines that uh, going to make a decision for our business or uh, any uh, uh, decisions that are going to be uh, made. And the other topic is random variables. Uh, random variables uh, uh, is in its simplest form is called a function that that gonna be uh, represented random events. So, for example, we could use a random variable to represent the outcome of a die roll that could be uh, any number between one and uh, six. For example, the die is uh, a six-sided die that uh, rolling out and uh, the uh, rolling uh, that die will be uh, uh, represent the outcome of the die rolling between uh, any number between one and six. So, uh, random uh, variable must be uh, a numeric, which means uh, that they always take uh, on a number rather than a characteristics or quality that cannot be represented a quality or characteristics because uh, random numbers are uh, numeric uh, values, numeric numbers between any uh, ranges. Uh, if, for example, if we want to use a random variable to represent an event with non-numeric characteristics or non-numeric outcomes, we can choose 
numbers represent those outcomes. For example, a coin flip. A coin has two sides, either head or tie. So we can assign a head a value of one and a tile a value of zero. So we, we should have to uh, assign this uh, characteristics with numbers, with numbers, either zero or one, because uh, random variables uh, could represent, uh, or uh, random variables must be a numeric uh, value, a numeric value. It cannot be represent uh, any characteristics or quality. Uh, to, uh, when you come to the practical decisions uh, uh, of uh, this uh, selecting random variables in Python, we uh, use uh, we will use random dot choice uh, function, and we can uh, pass arguments a number of arguments in this function. For example, a a represents a list or uh, any other object that has values we are sampling, we are sampling. That is a number of population or a population we are sampling from. And size is the number of, uh, is a number that represents how many values to choose from uh, uh, these uh, values, from these values, how many numbers we are going to uh, choose, we are going to uh, select. This is the size. And uh, we can also uh, replace uh, uh, either true or false from this uh, function is from NumPy uh, library, uh, as we have discussed in the previous tutorial about NumPy, introduction to NumPy. NumPy uh, is a, a NumPy supports uh, a huge uh, number of functions, amount of functions. It also uh, support mathematical competition, uh, competitions and a complex mathematical competitions uh, as well. So uh, we can choose uh, random uh, numbers from a given uh, numbers and uh, values. A is a list or other objects that has values we are uh, going to sampling from. And size is a number that represents how many values to choose from this uh, values from uh, values and the replace can be uh, uh, equal to true or false and it's going to uh, determine whether we keep a value after drawing uh, through uh, or remove it from the pool that is uh, either false this is an argument in this function so let's try to see an example the outcomes of rolling a player die. A die has a six side, and we are rolling. We are going to roll out this die twice. So the size we are sampling from is two. Uh, from uh, six sided uh, dice. So we we are going to use a uh, numpy dot random dot choice function, and we going to pass the number uh, the rolling die the number uh, values here in the uh, as A and the size we are going to rolling out or the size, the sampling uh, and uh, the other argument is replaced either true or false. Okay, let's try to uh, see this example and let's try to uh, see the outcomes of uh, if we rolling out, we rolling the die twice. First of all, we import uh, numpy as np and we uh, assign die six sided uh, die which is in the range of one up to seven because range function uh, uh, is useful to simply uh, list the sequence of numbers uh, from starting point to the end point the start point is one because die uh, starts from number one up to uh, six. So seven uh, could not be uh, included here. Seven is not included. That is the int. So range could not be included the last uh, the end uh, point. Okay, then uh, the number of rolls rolls is two, which means we are going to rolling 
this die twice. That is the size we are going to sampling from this six sided uh, dice. That is the probability. So we are going to uh, choose random numbers, any uh, numbers uh, from this die. That is the random uh, numbers. Then uh, result one uh, could be numpy dot uh, random dot choice. That is die six sided die and the size is number of rolls. We are rolling out twice this die and we could uh, get any numbers between uh, one and six. So two, uh, we, we could have two numbers, any numbers between one and six, one and seven, I mean. And a replace is our true or false, and uh, we can keep it uh, this equal to true. Okay, we just keep evaluating after drawing it, and we can keep these values uh, true. Let's try to print out the outcomes to see the outcomes of this uh, rolling die. So uh, we get five and six. Uh, when you try to uh, rolling this die again, and we we could uh, get uh, another two numbers. That is the probability because we are selecting random numbers from a given. So a die when you are rolling a die, so there is a chance to get uh, either uh, based on the sample size, either uh, any numbers between one and uh, six. Uh, so that is a chance. That is the probability. Uh, that's uh, three one, for example, when you run again once five, so, but it could not be uh, uh, greater than two uh, sample sizes because we are limited our samples. We are rolling out these dice twice. If what what could be the outcome if we rolling the die five times, five times? Let's uh, see the result two, number random choice die six and the size uh, five we are rolling uh, this die five times and uh, let's see the outcomes print so we get five numbers between one and six any five numbers but there is a chance that repetes a numbers, for example, to one, one, it repetes uh, five, five, because the list of numbers we have is six and we're sampling five numbers. So there is a chance that repetes uh, numbers. That's the probability. Okay. Let's try to see another example. Uh, if we could have 12 sided uh, die and uh, we are going to rolling uh, this die 10 times. So, what would be the outcome of this uh, uh, 12 sided uh, die rolling uh, 10 times? Okay, die 12. Uh, this range could be one of 30, that 30 will not be uh, included in this range. Number of rolls uh, we are going to roll uh, roll this die is uh, k and result under course three could be numpy run them choice and die the values twelve and the size is number of I mean rolls and we keep this true and let's try to print out this result straight so we we could have uh, 10 numbers in the range of one of 30 so any numbers between uh, one and 30 because we have uh, 12 sided dice and we are rolling this die to, uh, 10 times 10 times so this is uh, the random uh, number. So in general, 
random uh, variable uh, is uh, it's a simplest form of a function that could represent uh, uh, random events random events so it must be uh, numeric and uh, they they always take uh, a number rather than a characteristic or quality so this is an introduction to uh, uh, probability distribution the next time we will see uh, more details about uh, probabilities so this is uh, today's lesson thanks for watching